everybody welcome back to Zeva Alia with me Zeva and in this video I would like to share with you my toothpaste recipes because as we know toothpaste tubes are an environmental waste they pollute our oceans they pollute our lands because it's made out of plastic and there are many many mounting toothpaste tubes out there so this is a waste-free eco-friendly option that you can make so let's get to it <laughs> All of these methods are holistic dentist approved. Remember, majority of the toothpaste we all usually buy are full of different kinds of questionable chemicals. These methods I'm about to share are fully natural options. Let's start with the first method. This is very quick and easy to prepare and make. Prepare some baking soda, natural sea salt, your choice of essential oil. I'm using peppermint for a fresh feel. Don't forget to use a small spatula or anything similar to use whenever you want to use the paste. Prepare a small sterile container. I am using my lineage container. Find something you can reuse too. Now let's start mixing. Pour in 1 tablespoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of sea salt, 3 drops of your chosen essential oil, and add a few drops of water. Don't add too much. After mixing, this is the texture that you will get. It's smooth and quite watery, but it's okay. We will put this in the fridge later to chill and it will be more firm afterwards. After putting this in the fridge for half an hour to chill, it's now much more firm. You can then put it in room temperature. Whenever you want to make it more firm again, just pop it in the fridge. A little goes a long way. You don't need too much toothpaste when you brush your teeth actually. A pea size is enough. With a pea size portion, this batch personally lasts me for approximately one and a half months for twice daily brushing. For two people, it will last approximately up to one month for twice daily brushing per person. On to the second method. This is quick and easy to prepare and make. I will directly tell you the portions but won't show you this method fully because it will build on to the third method. You'll see. Prepare 4 tablespoons of calcium bentonite clay powder. You have to use calcium bentonite clay because it is food grade and safe to digest. Do not use other kinds. 1 teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of xylitol. This sugar-free sweetener prevents tooth decay and it is the best option. As a substitute, you can use stevia, but it won't have the same properties as xylitol. Prepare 10 drops of your chosen essential oil, but this is optional. If you are a believer that you could strip good bacteria from your mouth, you can leave this out. Add a few drops of water to blend. If you want to use these ingredients, this is method 2 all ready to mix in a bowl. Afterwards, place the mix into a small container, store in the fridge for half an hour, set in room temperature afterwards, and it's ready to use. With a pea-sized portion, this batch personally lasts me for approximately 3 months for twice daily brushing or approximately up to 2 months for 2 people for twice daily brushing per person. From the second method, we can actually build on to make the third method, minus the essential oil. This earthy paste requires extra effort to prepare and make, but it's worth it. The composition of the ingredients is quite different. You will also need to prepare a mixing bowl that may be larger than previous methods and depending on how much you will make. Prepare one jar for refilling purposes to put half of the mixture in the fridge for extra longevity that you can periodically take out when required to refill. And also prepare another jar, I'm reusing an old body shop jar to put in the other half of the mixture that will stay in room temperature for you to grab whenever you want to brush your teeth. When the paste is finished, you can refill it with fresh paste from the other jar you stored in the fridge. This two jar method ensures better freshness. These are the ingredients you will need to prepare. Since the ingredients are unique, I will also generally explain why these ingredients are chosen. Prepare 4 tablespoons of calcium bentonite clay. 2 tablespoons of xylitol is required. Prepare as well 4 tablespoons of coconut oil. You need to melt your coconut oil first before mixing it in if it's still solid. You will also need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Prepare half a teaspoon of almond oil or vitamin E oil. Add in half a teaspoon of cacao powder. It has to be 100% cacao. Prepare 1.5 teaspoons of ginger powder. You will also need half a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. 
Last but not least, prepare 3 tablespoons of distilled or filtered water that will be gradually mixed in to blend the mixture. In goes all the powder ingredients first and mix well. Pour in 1 tablespoon of the melted coconut oil first and mix well until you get a darker colored texture. Pour in the almond oil or vitamin E oil and the rest of the coconut oil. Mix well. The mixture will be very oily smooth and watery. This is fine. Gradually blend in the water into the mixture. The mixture will be oily, watery and smooth but with thickness that remains. We will make this firm later when we pop it in the fridge to set. Pour in half the mixture to the jar that will be placed in the fridge as a refill source to keep the freshness longer and pour in the other half of the mixture to the second jar that will be the main jar to grab whenever you brush your teeth. Now it's ready to be put in the fridge for about an hour. This is what it will look like once out of the fridge. You can put the refill jar back in the fridge again and as for the second jar, let the paste defrost into room temperature. It will form into a spreadable paste. You can place this jar in your bathroom sink for further use until it requires a refill. For this earthy paste, I usually use a pea and a half size paste on my toothbrush. With a pea and a half size portion, this batch personally lasts me for approximately 2 months for twice daily brushing or approximately up to 1 month for 2 people for twice daily brushing per person. So I hope you enjoyed watching these recipes and are interested to try at least one of them it will help to reduce our waste production to our daily habits our daily life and will also help to strengthen our gums our teeth and our overall oral microbiome see you in the next video